the result. If we have two PCD numbers, the maximum number will be 9 and 9. And carry can be, there can be a previous carry also. This is a carry. This is one number, this is another number. So total can be 90. But we, what we have with us is a binary adder. When you add two numbers, its total will be represented in binary, not in BCD. So when you are adding two numbers, how to convert your binary number into a binary sum into a BCD sum. So let's have two numbers, add them. The maximum sum can be vary from 0 to sum is 0, sum of two numbers is 0, it will be represented in binary and BCD in the same way. So till 9, the binary representation and the BCD representation is same. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So till 9, the representation is same for BCD sum and binary sum. Right? So, so this is the binary sum. sum. K is the carry. And since the sum is going to be 19, we can have 19 is represented by 5 bits. And this is the BCD sum. Till 9, their sum is represented in the identical form. Now for 10, the binary sum is represented by and BCD sum is represented by. Fine, you already know this. When it is 10, 1 is represented by 4 bits. Since it is this, we are having 5 bits only. How to go about that? If it is 11, if it is 12, this is 11, this is 12, then 13, 14, 15, Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. We have to go till nineteen because maximum two numbers can be nine and nine, and there can be a carry which will make the maximum binary sum to be nineteen. 
then 16, then 17, then we have 16, then 17, 18, and 19. there is a carry in. Then it will give you Z8, Z4, Z2, Z1 and a carry out. Fine. How do you convert this into a whenever you have numbers from 10 to 19 binary sum, you have to add 6 to it. So you have to find a way when you have to add 6 to it. So what we can, we have to add 6 to it. That means we can add 6 to it. We can just give this to this and we will get a VCD sum. Uh, I can use this as, since we have used there, B8, B4, B2, B1, this is BCD sum. I have to find a way, a convenient technique where I get a BCD sum. That means I have to give something here. There are four more inputs here. I have to add 6 to it. When I have to add 6 to the BCD sum? One condition is when k is equal to 1. This is BCD sum. These are the 4 bits and this is 1 when you add 6 to it. So when k is 1 when k is 1, add 6 to the binary sum. This is 1 pattern. This is, when k is 1, add 6 to it. Then, for rest of the bits, you can see that for these two, when z8 is 1, and when z2 is 1, is there any condition upstairs? No. When Z8 is 1 and Z2 is 1, you, are, you have to add 6 to it. A second, third, next condition is, these 4 are left. So when Z8 is 1 and Z4 is 1, you have to add 6 to it to get a carry out of a, for a BCD sum. So what you do is, there is an OR gate and there are two AND gates so this gives Z8 Z4 this, this will give you 1 this will be Z8 is Z2. So 
so whenever this conditions occurs add 6 to your number so when you add 6 to your number these conditions will generate a one and then add 6 to that number make the middle ones 11 one, one and others 200 zero, zero. so when it generates 11 one, one, it will add 6 to it and when it generates a zero it will add zero to it so in this way you will get a bcd sum so this is the best way of finding the bcd sum of bcd numbers so if your representation is in binary your result should be in binary if it is in bcd your result should be in bcd so this is the best way of doing it there are two four bit binary adders they are being used to convert your binary sum to bcd sum first part gives you a binary sum and then if your number c is 1 so if that increases the output if it the numbers this 10 11 12 if you have c to be 1 then add 6 to the number so whenever c is 1 you are adding 6 to the number so you add 6 to the number you get this if this is 0 you will add 0 to this your binary sum and bcd sum they are identical uh we'll start with another topic of combinational circuits which is a magnitude comparator now in this magnitude comparator means that we are going to compare two numbers and which one is greater which one is smaller and that it's magnitude comparator we are going to have a number which is represented in binary and we are going to compare those two numbers first thing is you can compare two numbers only when they are of equal length compare them only when they are of equal length otherwise there is no need of comparison so how to compare a number and what circuit will be required to compare two numbers in a, which are represented in binary so we have a magnitude comparator which consists of two inputs magnitude comparator which has two inputs and both are of same length if it is n bit long this is also n bit long so there will be two three outputs either a is equal to b or a is greater than b or a is less than b so these are the three output variables which we have to find out whether the numbers are equal whether a is greater than b or b is greater than a so how to proceed if there are numbers are n bit long the circuit will be very big how we are going to find out that circuit how to make a truth table is it possible to make a truth table because if there if this is n bit long this is also n bit long then we are going to have two rest for two n entries into the truth table and it is very difficult to write those two two rest for n uh, entries in the truth table so what do we do do you think this particular combinational circuit or digital function it is it has some regularity so whatever digital function we have and if that digital function have a regularity then we can write an algorithm for that particular digital function an algorithm is a procedure which has finite set of steps and it will give you a particular output so we can write an algorithm for a magnitude comparator when you are comparing two numbers if they are in decimal also then you are going to start from the most significant digit similarly in if you are comparing to binary numbers you are going to start with the most significant position so these are two inputs these are the three outputs we have to find out so let's say a and b are two numbers and both are four bit long So 
we have to find out certain Boolean expressions, certain procedure for finding out how A is greater than B, how B is greater than A or how A is equal to B. But at one time only one of the outputs will be active, rest of them will be inactive. Either it will be A equal to B or A greater than B or third option A less than B. This is another question here. So if we have four num two num uh, numbers, four bit long, then first is if they are equal, if A is equal to B. If A is equal to B, then what happens? That means if both the numbers are same, then output should be 1. So what happens is, we have this is the XOR gate which helps us in, in finding out if the two inputs are equal, the output is going to be 1. So this is XI. So if two numbers are equal, the output is going to be 1. Then what about, then what do you do? You have to find out A0 is equal to B0, A1 should be equal to B1, A2 should be equal to B2 and A3 should be equal to B3. Then only A is equal to B. That means if all the four comparisons of these bits are 1, then only your final answer A is equal to B. So what happens is A is equal to B when when x0 is 1, x1 is 1, x2 is 1, x3 is 1. That means you have to add all these variables. Find out x0, find out x1, find out x2, find out x3. If they are all 1, then A is equal to B is high. This is one part. Then for A greater than B, now in binary, if A is greater than B, then A will be 1, B will be 0. And if A is less than B, then A is 0, B is so what we can have is, we can have a procedure which, how, first compare the most significant digit. A is 1, B is 0. So A is greater than B if this combination is okay. Then, if it is not if A, A3 and A is equal to B3, then we will compare the next bit. That means, this is 0. A3 is equal to B3, this becomes 1. Then compare the next bit. Then compare, if this is also 1, then compare the last. How is it? You have two numbers. Let me take two numbers. 1, 0, 1, 1. 1, 0, 1, 0. Compare them. This is A, this is A. So, what is A3, B3 bar? This is A3, this is B3. देखने में पहले ही देखने से पता लग रहा है, it is a is greater than b, so this should be high. So what we'll do is we'll first compare the most significant bit. When the most significant bit is compared, it will give you one. A three, b three bar. So this is zero. This is zero means that that means you have to find out the you have to compare the next bit. Plus ये बार हो गया a two b two bar. A two b two bar. This is also zero. ये जीरो हो गया, ठीक है? ये भी जीरो हो गया, ये भी छोड़ दिया। अगला क्या है? दोनों इक्वल हो गए। A3, B1, B1 बार, X3, वन है, X2 वन है, A1, B1 बार, ये भी जीरो हो गया, तो ये भी जीरो हो गया। Next is X3, X2, X1, दोनों तीनों वन है, A1, B1 बार, ये वन हो। 
If any of these product terms turns into 1, that means your A is greater than B. And this is only possible by writing this Boolean expression for A greater than B. Similarly, if we go by step, finite set of steps, we will have if A is less than B, A3. If A is less than B, that means A3, A is 0, B is 1. ये भी दोनों इक्वल हैं तो चेक नेक्स्ट बिट अगर ये भी इक्वल है तो चेक नेक्स्ट दैट मीन्स देर इज नो नीड टू कंपेयर ऑल द बिट्स यू हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट बिट एंड कीप ऑन कंपेयरिंग वेर एवर एट एनी पॉइंट वेयर यू फाइंड आउट दैट द बिट इज दिस बिट इज ग्रेटर देन द अदर बिट टर्मिनेट योर एल्गोर दिस इज वॉट there is no need to do the comparison whole, whole. Okay. Why? Suppose this is, I have one here. I have compared this bit, this is one, then compare the next bit. If this is one, no, it will give you B is greater than A. If it itself gives you B greater than A. If it is B is greater than A, then there is no need to compare the rest of the bits. And at this point only your algorithm terminates. This is what is an algorithm. So how will you convert this whole into a circuit? So we'll have a circuit in which we'll have This is x0, x1, x2, x3. So if you add them, you will get, where should I add them? A equal to B. equal to B. What is A greater than B? A3, B3 bar. Where is A3, B3 bar? So this is
this is okay x3 into a2 b2 bar
block diagram or a gate level diagram for a magnitude comparator. Since you know the algorithm, and wherever we find out that A is equal to B, it terminates. Whenever we, for calculating A equal to B, we have to go through all the bits. This is only the problem. But when you are calculating A greater than B or A less than B, you have an algorithm which has finite set of steps. And if you follow those steps, you will get an output. One thing is, you don't have to go through whole set of bits. Wherever the A is greater than B, the algorithm terminates. Similarly, wherever A less than B occurs, the algorithm terminates. So this is what happens when we have a regular feature of a combinational set, okay? Where compare it, then go to next step. Compare it, then go to... That means we are doing the comparison at each step. So you can have a regular... You can have a regular pattern and get a combinational circuit or a gate level circuit for that. So this is a magnitude compar comparator which has been drawn for a 4 bit numbers. Both the numbers are 4 bit long. Whenever you do the comparison, please compare that both the numbers are of same length. Then start the comparison. Start the comparison from the most significant position. But this position is uh, if they are equal, then go to the next bit, lower bit. Compare them, if they are equal, then go to the next lower bit. So this is how you proceed when you have a magnitude comparator. This is again a combinational circuit where you are comparing the two numbers which are of same length. Thank you.